Hi, my name is David Dowling, and I have created a social media app. I know, very original. Now, this app was specifically created to work without you having to look at the screen. I know it sounds a little bit strange seeing as it's social media, and social media today is extremely driven by visual cues and visual gratification. But I'm actually very much an audio person. Um, I love music. Uh, I love things like field recordings, hearing stories. So I just decided uh, why not make a social media app that just operates in a way that I don't need to look at it. And it was interesting because the more I began to dive into this, the more I began to see how this could be beneficial to the blind community. I went on Google and I really looked for an app for blind people that was social media based. And what I mostly found were camera driven apps that would you know, identify your surroundings. Very helpful, um, but it wasn't really what I was trying to do. And there were also other apps uh, that would describe things that were on the screen. I think the iPhone can do that. Uh, to a degree, but then I thought to myself, you know, there are some people who have been born without sight. So if I said there's a red robin sitting on a rooftop at sunset overlooking the ocean and it's twinkling waves, you know, uh, to somebody who's never seen that before, those words aren't very helpful, really. So I said, you know, I'm just going to make this app and it's gonna be extremely even. Everyone's on the same playing field because as I said, uh, there's no screen. Do you wanna see the app? This is it. Now you might be wondering, uh, so how am I supposed to use it? Well, good question. It's simple really, the app uses hot zones and I'll throw up a little diagram to help you. The app is divided into sections, the top sections for tapping the bottom section also for tapping, and the immediate center, which is designated for swiping and tapping. And the other really good thing about this app is that all you need is your thumb to control it. We're talking about swiping, we're talking about tapping, and that's, that's it. I really didn't wanna do an app that relied on voice prompts for every single action. I really wanted to create something that would be intuitive enough that once you learn it the first time, you could do it, well, <laughs> blindfolded. So lots of talk, um, let's give a demonstration. Now I can only give you a demonstration in a simulated manner because I don't know how to code apps. It's not my area of expertise and I don't have a lot of money. So hence the campaign here, but I'll give you a simulated demonstration. Pretend we're on the content page. So let's swipe through some content. Field recordings. <laughs> okay, now let's say I really like this. So let's double tap. Yeah. Now oh, we've liked it. Didn't even have to look at it. Now let's say uh, I want to go into that person's account um, who just created that. We're gonna use the bottom button here. Bird girl right. nine nine. Now, the bottom is always going to be back Bird watch and recording. forward. Bird girl nine nine. So it keeps everything consistent. So again, podcast sci five stories. Pretending I'm swiping through. We have the last swiping, swiping, the swiping. swiping. I like something. Double tap. Yeah. I like it. Now let's say I want to um, subscribe. Subscribe top left. Subscribe to the time comment? files. Okay, I'll leave a comment. Hold. Comment. Now I know what you might be thinking. Because there's no screen. Because there's nothing to see. This means this can only be audio content. And I think that's fine, really. What we have here is an opportunity to really focus on personal human emotion and connection. I hope to have categories like journal, categories like obviously thoughts and opinions, categories like tutorials. You could still have that audio only. I hope to have poetry. I hope to have stand-up comedy. I hope to have field recording. Let's hear where are you where are you now? There's a whole open door of possibilities here. Now let's say uh, you want to add your own content. Well, I'm hoping I'll be able to raise enough money in order to integrate things like Dropbox and SoundCloud. But for the time being, 
you'll be able to upload content in two ways. You'll be able to do it from the microphone of the iPhone live, or you'll be able to go into your camera roll and upload a video, which will only appear as audio in the content here. Now, I know this is a very simplistic explanation of how this is all going to work, um, but I promise you I've gone through this and I've tested it, and I think this is something that can really blossom and will usher in a new era of people being able to use the phone without uh, having to stare into it. I'm sorry I'm not great at speeches. I'm not running for office or anything. I just had an idea and I like it and I think there's a lot of potential and I think there's a lot of good that can come, especially as I said before in the seeing impaired uh, community. I think they could really use something that they know that everybody's experiencing exactly as they are. I guess I haven't really talked about the name, but I call it Extabe. Now, that isn't how you pronounce the name for real. It's actually taken from a Mayan goddess uh, in Mayan um, mythology, uh, which is what I am, which is why I'm using it. Uh, you know, I, I kicked around looking for cool names having to do with sight or sound and all of them are taken and I didn't want to make something really forced. So I just said, I'll do something fun. I like saying Extabe with a little bay in there. It's, it's amusing to me. So I said, that's my name. So yeah, I'm looking to get this funded. I'm looking to get this to be the very first social media platform that the visually impaired uh, can use as all of us can. Um, and I hope you like it. Thanks.